What's good, YouTube? DM Gaming here, guys. Hope everybody's having an awesome morning, afternoon, evening, night, whenever it is that you're watching this video. Today, guys, I'm going to give my final thoughts and future thoughts for Black Myth Wukong. But before we do, guys, let's get a shout out from today's video sponsor. Welcome to Trust Dice, your gateway to top notch crypto casino action and unbeatable sports betting. Trust Dice is one of the largest crypto casinos and sports books with a global user base of over 100 countries. Check out the incredible odds we have for upcoming esports events. Don't forget, we also offer popular in house games like Dice and Crash for a variety of gaming thrills. Trust Dice isn't just about gaming, it's about creating unforgettable betting experiences. With stellar reviews and unbeatable odds, it's time to place your bet where it counts. Check the description for direct links to the esports betting section. If you're new to the channel, click that subscribe button. Yes, the subscribe button. Turn on the bell icon so you don't miss a single upload of amazing content. Guys, I finished Black Myth Wukong. I think I finished it yesterday. Or maybe the day before. I think it was yesterday. Regardless, I did a review earlier talking about the game. And I, I should have waited until I finished it. But guys, not in a bad way. In a very, very, very good way, guys. This game is amazing. I don't know if it's because of my my love for the story, the lore, the journey to the West story, and even you know how that ties into Dragon Ball. This game continually got better and better and better. And then I get to the end of the game, and guess what? New game plus. I'm I'm sitting here like, dude. So I get to start over, play everything with everything that I've unlocked. Is dope. That is always a refresher. Uh, with games like this, is a new game plus to me personally. The ending of this, and I'm not gonna spoil it. You're not seeing any gameplay or nothing like this. You just you just see this awesome, this awesome. HD 4K background of 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 the destined one breathing in and out like bruh bruh this isn't Wukong I was mistaken I thought the main character was Wukong and we was playing through his story but it's not it's it's the destined one and in the end you get to fight Wukong and it, it's such a great game it's such a great fight I'm telling you, it is a well, Wukong. Yeah, I don't know if that's a spoiler, but maybe it is. At this point, if you don't know, it's been all out there, so you're gonna know anyway. But and I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Game Science was the producer and publisher for this game. They did a phenomenal job. Okay, this game's been out since August 20th. I have been playing it ever since. And I know you're going to say, DM, why are you just now finishing it, guys? Because football keeps your boy busy. It's been a lot of days where I'm not even, I get home so late, I'm not even able to play my game. Okay. They sold, what was it, three? Three or ten million copies in the first week? And rumor has it that DLC is coming. I cannot wait. This game, like I told y'all, is very Souls-like. It, it's not, it, it's... To me, it's it's more it's easier than Souls like only because when you die, you don't lose your will. Will is the currency in the game. OK, when you die, you don't lose that. Other than that, the game is it's it's on par with it. OK, you've got tons of boss fights. I, I, I Somebody told me when I first played it that it was like a, a, a boss gauntlet. And really, that's all it is. And at first I was like, well, this is going to be boring. Just fighting boss after boss. But it's not. There's secrets to be discovered. There's lore to be learned. Oh my gosh, y'all, this game. And I mean, you see the ratings here. And you know, normally you see ratings for a game and you think, eh, you know, no. These ratings are all legit. 10 out of 10, 9 out of 10. Let's see, Gaming Bowl gave it a 10 out of 10. Uh, seeing some more some more ones that we know. I mean, you got the ten out of ten, nine point five out of ten. Hardcore gamer, IGN gave it an eight out of ten. IGN China, China gave it a ten out of ten. I don't I don't know who's running IGN 
America, but they need to stop reviewing games because this game is easily a nine. Even IGN Brazil, 8.5. No, this game is anywhere from a nine to a 10 out of 10. I haven't had this much fun playing a game since uh, since I played Elden Ring for the first time. Okay, and Elden Ring was actually the game that got me into um, Elden Ring actually got me into the Souls like genre of games. I'm just going to roll the, the this beautiful bean footage here for y'all on mute because we ain't trying to get copywritten, but. Elden Ring was amazing. This game brought back a lot of that, um, a lot of that sense of adventure, that sense of excitement. And I'm sorry if this is buffering. It, it, I don't know. Something's wrong with our internet. Okay, that's why I wasn't trying to play a video, but I have to digress. Um, Elden Ring brought back a had, had, had it brought back a lot of that excitement and adventure that I had whenever I played Elden Ring. We're just gonna get out of that because I, I don't want that doing that. Wait, look at oh now it wants to play regular. Now it wants to play regular. And so playing this game was so much fun to me. I was I went into it the same way that. I went into God of War, both of them, because I didn't watch any gameplay, okay, or tried not to. I think I did see some, like, you know, bits and pieces, but you know how content creators will get a game and they'll play the whole game on their channel before the game comes out kind of deal? I, I ain't looking at none of that kind of stuff. I stayed on this website reading about different things, and it turned out like, it made the experience so great. And I actually, I think I actually got the game after the, tw I don't know, I, I think I got it the day it came out. I can't remember. It's been so long ago. It feels so long. It's been over, uh, it's been a month ago, over a month, a little bit over a month. But I just stayed on the website kind of reading about whatever they put out. They didn't put out enough stuff to spoil the game. And once you get your hands on it, man, you find out. That this game is legit. And I don't know who Game Science is. I don't even know what other games they made. Maybe I talked about it in an older video. I don't know. But this is freaking amazing. This is freaking amazing. And I implore you all. If you have not tried this game yet. Get into some of the lore on uh, Journey to the West. To get, a, to get a brief, you know what I'm saying, kind of deal about it. You're not playing as Sun Wukong. Okay, so, and, and that was something that I, I had to come to grips with. Because I'm like, bro, Wukong was immortal. But we we die in this game. But you don't actually die in the game. It's weird. I don't know how to explain it. It's, it's like Souls. I mean, you die, yeah, but then you kind of go back to the spawn point, if that makes sense. And so, doing that, I was, you know, su surprised in how the game handled things. Um, not in a bad way. In a very, very good way. It, it, it keeps you on your toes. There's challenges. There's diff there's some very difficult bosses. But what's, what's very, very interesting is even though there's tough bosses, I found myself on my... I, I've already started my second playthrough. I found myself like not having that much... I'm not going to say that much of a challenge. I still have to be on my P's and Q's on my second playthrough. But one thing that I learned is like you learn the mechanics of these bosses to the point where you don't quite struggle with them anymore. And I love that. I think it's awesome. I think it's amazing. Um, the game is dope, dude. The game is dope. One thing that I don't like about a lot of Souls games is like you're, you're powerful, but it's like you're not. Uh, this game to me, when you get more powerful in the game, it's not game breaking by any means, but you, you notice the, the bumps in power, you notice the bumps in power. And so it makes it enjoyable. Now I'm looking through some of these screenshots, some of this stuff, I, I don't recognize this from the game. You know, and this is early development. Maybe some of this stuff was cut out. 
I don't recognize that. That's a boss fight. That's a big guy. I don't recognize that area. I can't even tell you what that is. But, I mean, the game is freaking gorgeous. We fight him. We don't fight him there. So they did change a lot of stuff. Like, I, and I don't know why because, dude, that is freaking beautiful. To, to have a fight with him there. We do fight this guy. We don't fight him in this area. I don't know what area that is. But my golly. It looks good. That's an actual fight right there. Uh, a dope fight. It's not as graphic though. And, and you can tell all of this is from an early build of the game. Uh, because you know. A lot of these things over here looks different. Or not even there. But actually, this is not even there. It's over here. This is on that side. But, you know, going back looking at some of the earlier build of the game, I'm like, dude, I kind of like the earlier build. <laughs> the, I'm going to put my game on, on uh, graphics mode and see if it changes it to look like this because the game looked very good. Do not get me wrong one bit. However, I don't remember looking at like I don't remember it looking like that. Maybe I need... Do they have photo mode? Can we add photo mode into the game? Because the game does look amazing. Even on... Uh, even on performance mode, it looks amazing. Now, we do fight that monkey. I don't know if we fight him there or not. I don't know. I don't even remember what boss that is. I can't even tell. But all in all, man, the game is fun. The game is worth every single penny. I, I, I'm seriously, I cannot wait to see what they do with DLC. Uh, how much more of the lore we explore, or do they just open it up for us to kind of pave our own way, if that makes sense, and and go into something completely different uh, beyond that? I mean, the story of Journey to the West is a very in-depth story. It, it's not a short story by any stretch of the imagination. But, you know, I, I'm wondering how they handle that since how the game ended and stuff that, you know, there's still some people around. Don't get me wrong. Some stuff like that. But um, overall, things are very different. Like this right here is not in the game. There's you're not you don't see. I don't I don't know. You get the fly on that cloud, though. This is in the game, but it's a cutscene. Um looking at some different stuff and heck maybe some of this stuff may make it in the dlc who knows who freaking knows that's in the first area of the game you actually do fight him that that's always cool that is always cool so i don't know man if y'all have played it let me ask you this honest question is this game of the year content me personally it's gonna be hard for this game not to get game of the year. It's going to be very hard. Because the game is amazing. And, and they're, they're doing updates left and right. I didn't have any crashes. I didn't have any bug problems or anything like that when I played it. Um, my playthrough was smooth. Didn't have no issues. So I don't know. To me, this is definitely game of the year. Let me know what y'all think down in the comment section down below, y'all. Till next time. Thanks for watching. Peace.